2024 unexpectedly brought some fundamental changes to how I treat erectile dysfunction and Peyronie's disease. What happens right now at my office is that I am advancing more and more into combination therapy instead of just doing one thing at a time. Well, I have had this philosophy for Peyronie's disease for years, but I am applying it more and more to erectile dysfunction now. If you want to know what I do, and if you want to have a look at my latest device, follow along. My name is Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. Just in case you are wondering, I didn't get this from the airport. This is not a metal detector. This machine does magnetics, but does it do magic as well? I hope it does. For the time being, it remains to be seen. I got the device a few weeks back and so far, I am in the process of treating my first patients with it. This is a so-called magnetolith and it does a novel form of magnetic treatment called EMTT. That means extracorporeal magnetotransduction therapy. You may have heard about pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, PEMF. There are special devices on the market using PEMF for all kinds of indications, including the pelvic floor. EMTT is not the same. It is more powerful. If we just compare the strength of the magnetic field between devices, PEMF is roughly 220 times stronger than the magnetic field of the Earth. EMTT is up to 1,600 times stronger. Just for comparison, an MRI machine usually generates a magnetic field that's 30 to 60,000 times stronger than the magnetic field of the Earth. But it doesn't entirely come down to power in terms of the Teslas produced. It's also about oscillation frequency. EMTT has a frequency of 7 microseconds, while PEMF only has 280 microseconds, which makes it much faster. For effects in biologic tissue, a threshold of 10 milliteslas has to be reached. One pulse of EMTT reaches this threshold 10 times within 70 microseconds, whereas PEMF can do this only once in 280 microseconds. The electromagnetic transduction power of EMTT is much higher than that of PEMF. It's over 60 kiloteslas per second, whereas it is less than 60 kiloteslas in PEMF. Electromagnetic transduction power in relation to body tissues is about converting electromagnetic energy into other forms of energy within our tissues. This process can be used for medical treatments. It helps in therapies like MRI scans, which use electromagnetic fields to create detailed images of the inside of our bodies. So, how does it work? The intense and rapidly shifting magnetic field has a regenerative effect. So far, EMTT has been mostly used for wound healing and fractures in combination with shock waves. The results are really interesting. What exactly happens on a cellular level isn't quite clear at the moment. It seems to trigger the migration of stem cells. Apart from that, it seems to have an impact on the electric field of the membranes of cells. Yes, there is electricity in the membranes of cells. For example, in nerves, the voltage is minus 70 millivolts. Obviously, biochemical reactions within the cells are activated that lead to enhanced self-healing of the body. Most users use EMTT in combination with low-intensity shockwaves. It speeds up the healing process quite a bit. Now it's the turn to apply it on erectile dysfunction and Peyronie's disease. Users report impressive results with that. The method has no known side effects and is pain-free. There are only a few contraindications. I wouldn't use it on a patient with a pacemaker, for example. You know, the strong magnetic field. It's absolutely advisable to stow away credit cards and smartphones at a good distance when the machine is in use. Currently, I am combining my ESWT treatments with EMTT. In addition to that, I use platelet-rich plasma as a third ingredient. This is therapy at the cutting edge of what's possible right now. Is this standard therapy? Certainly not. 
As with all new therapies, it takes years and years until they find their way into the guidelines. Shockwaves have. I kind of can see PRP also being recommended in a few years. EMTT will take a little longer. Expert knowledge tells me that this is the way to go, even though science is lagging behind. The problem is that my patients have issues today and want a solution today, not in 20 years. As you can see, there are pros and cons of the approach. Since there are virtually no side effects, all of this is safe. So the worst that can happen is that the therapy is not working. Also, the therapy is costly because of the highly specialized technology involved. I gave it a lot of thought about whether I should go for it. Frankly, in the end it came down to the choice if I wanted to be a leader in my field or if I wanted to follow the herd. I chose to lead. Pretty alpha, eh? Anyway, a video does not replace a visit to the doctor. It is no medical advice either. Please discuss your individual health problems with your local doctor. If you want an educational online consultation with me, it is now possible to become a patient. I will link you my calendar in the description. And by the way, here are some videos on the other therapies I just mentioned. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.